Mothers do magic all the time, but this week Eastern Mosaic's magician in residence returns the compliment, especially for all the moms. The event was hosted at a prestigious new property. Good morning and welcome to Eastern Mosaic. Today we're based at the beautiful Urban Park Hotel in Amschlange, where we celebrate Mother's Day in absolute opulence. We've invited a few mums to come out to a delicious high tea, as well as spoiling them with Eastern Mosaic's resident magician, Mo Magic. You don't need a stage for magic to happen, and some amazing things had already taken place in the kitchen. Pies, savouries and other delicious delectables are just a few things on the menu today. But not forgetting the magic of Mother's Day, let's catch up with our mums. Well ladies, as part of Mother's Day, we've decided to treat you with a bit of magic ahead of the high tea. I have here a few notes, 50, 100, 150, 200. Your name ma'am? Tash. Tash, pleasure to meet you. If I could do anything with these 50s, what would impress you? M multiply them? Oh, I like that she's going, yes. Now, please. Now, please. But if I could multiply them, that would be good. Huh? Watch carefully. All I do is I take the notes like this, give a little snap, and the notes change right there. So now we have one, two, three, four hundred rand. Did you enjoy that? Yes, I did. But can you make those two hundred rand notes? Now they want... Two hundreds. Okay, it's all about the magic. Yep. This time I'll do it right under your nose. Please. Right? Watch this. Can you see the notes? Yes. Keep your eye on the hundreds. I'll do this as slow as I can. You ask for two hundreds. Watch the hundreds change. Oh my goodness! Wow. Two, four, five, six, eight. There was nothing mysterious about the manner in which eats disappeared off the plates and platters. Vanessa, do you know how to shuffle cards? A little. A little bit. Would you take these and shuffle them for me? Great. I would like you to do me a favor. Please take out any card you'd like, preferably one that has a lot of white space on it. Take this permanent marker and write your name as big as you can across the side facing you. The reason we do this is so that we make her card as unique as possible. Please show it to the camera. Thank you. Melaine, as I drop these cards, I'd like you to call stop wherever you feel comfortable, okay? Thank you. Would you place your card right there where Melaine said stop? Good. I'll take the marker back. Now you shuffle the cards. You had a choice of any card. Watch this. Your card's somewhere in and amongst these cards. Tash. You see here we have the three of clubs. If I just take the three of clubs and if I snap, that's the moment the magic happens. Because now it changes to a two of hearts. Thank you very much. I have your three lengths of rope. A long piece a medium piece and a short piece. I, Melaine, I'd like you to have a look at the long piece. Take it for me, please. Make sure it is solid. Ramona, would you have a look at the short piece, please? And your name, ma'am? Maggie. Maggie, I'd like you to have a look at the medium piece. Melaine, are you happy with that? Yes, Good. Thank you. So, Ramona, are you happy with that? Happy. Great. Are you happy with that yes. one? Good. Now watch very carefully. Little illusion with three lengths of rope. All I do is I take the rope, I give them a gentle tug. Watch carefully. And now we have... <laughs> Let's uh, remove one length, leaving us with two lengths of rope. Okay. However, since it is the art of magic, how about we take the rope and let's use one. Oh! <laughs> now, if you missed that, a moment ago, I had uh, two lengths of rope. Whoa. Then I took the rope and made them one. 
Yeah. So, ma'am, where do you think the magic's going to happen? On my hands. Yes, one of the hands. Is it this hand or that hand? That yeah. Don't watch too carefully, because if you do, you might just see no. the ends come off the rope. Tash, ends here, the rest of the rope here. So let's take the ends. Renette, do the ends look like they're back on the rope? They do? Because they are back on the rope. Now sometimes, and just sometimes, it's not the ends that give me a problem. It's the middle. So I'll tell you what we do. We take the middle. And put it back on. Now when we began this, we had here three distinctively different lengths of rope. So to break the illusion, to go back to the start, Malin, I think this is yours, the long piece. The magic will happen on the count of three. Watch one, two, three. Now we have the long piece, the medium piece, and the short piece. Thank you so much.